Do temperature and humidity requirements affect the way a clean room is designed? It's affected by the environment that you're building. So if you're going to build a clean room that needs to maintain a certain temperature, but the outside environment around it is of a higher temperature. As an example, you're going to put a clean room in the middle of an open warehouse, and that open warehouse has no temperature and humidity control. The envelope you build, or the clean room envelope, has to withstand the difference. So you need an R value in the wall in order to make sure that the heat doesn't transfer through. And you also need a structure that will stop moisture from transferring. Temperature is one thing because tr temperature moves with air. So if you've got a positive pressure, you're going to push air out. But moisture is different. Moisture will in come into a clean room against pressurization. So moisture will equalize against pressurization. And that causes you to create an environment that has to be very tight. Now one of the biggest problems you have in clean room is you lose temperature in places that you don't envision you're going to lose temperature. A perfect example is through what they call the plenum cap or the top of the clean room. You're moving this air at such a pace and what happens is everything that happens, including heat transfer, is accentuated. So as you move air across the top of that plenum, if that plenum is warm on one side and cooler on the other, the air will transfer through or you'll absorb heat into the air and all of a sudden you won't realize that you're having trouble maintaining your temperature in your clean room because you're using a lot of the energy that you're creating to cool a plenum because it hasn't been properly insulated.